Wobblies! Welcome to Wobbly Outer Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode we're taking a look at our boondocking electrical system. This episode is made possible in part by generous supporters on Patreon. We chose to go with a portable solar panel as opposed to one mounted on the roof of the camper. Our thinking is that this way we can park the camper in the shade when it's hot and still put the solar panel out in the sun. We're using a Renogy 100 watt 12 volt monocrystalline solar panel. It comes with a waterproof 20 amp charge controller, has an adjustable stand, and folds up suitcase style to fit into its carrying case. We've standardized on using SAE plugs with our 12 volt system. The Renogy solar panel comes with a MC4 connector. So we've got an MC4 to SAE adapter cable connected to the solar panel's charge controller. And then that adapter cable connects to a SAE to SAE extension cable, which connects to the camper's 12 volt battery via a SAE to ring terminal harness. The camper battery powers the interior lights, the max fan, and connects to a panel of 12 volt power receptacles that are on the interior front shelf. The 12 volt panel includes an on off switch, a 12 volt socket, two USB ports, and a voltage indicator display. When on the road, we have a Goal Zero Yeti 400 portable power station inside the cab of the pickup with us. It has one 12 volt socket, two USB ports, and two AC sockets. We use it to charge phones, camera batteries, laptops, and other equipment. When in camp, the Goal Zero Yeti 400 sits on a shelf inside the camper. To charge the Yeti 400, it's first plugged into a 200 watt power inverter, which is then plugged into the 12 volt socket supplied with power from the camper battery. The inverter isolates the Yeti 400 on the system and provides a clean, steady power source to the Yeti 400 so that it charges faster. If the Yeti 400 is plugged directly into the 12 volt socket connected to the camper battery and not through the 200 watt inverter first, then the Yeti 400 will display low for input and not charge until the 12 volt socket for the camper battery shows at least about 13.1 volts. Plug this into the Yeti's input, right? Plug this into the 12 volt socket. And you saw voltage, but is he charging? No. No. It says input low. This is reading 12.7 volts right now. Okay. The Yeti will display low and will not charge until that gets up to about 13.1 volts. Well, that's our little boondocking system. Let us know what you think and tell us about your boondocking system in the comments below. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time. <laughs>